Oh, I will exalt your holy name. I will exalt you, Lord. Oh, thou hast lifted me. Oh, above my enemy. Oh, your banner over me is long. Oh, the most I renew. Oh, the most I renew. Oh, the most I renew in my life to them. The most I reign, hallelujah, the most I reign, oh, the most I reign in my life today. The most I reign, the most I reign, oh, the most I reign in my life today. Oh, the most I reign, hallelujah, the most I Hallelujah. There will be joy in the morning. There will be joy in the morning. Oh, oh, child of God, cry no more. There will be joy in the morning. Oh, there will be joy. There will be joy in the morning. In Jesus' name, there will be joy in the morning. Oh, child of God, cry no more. Oh, there will be joy in the morning. Oh, there will be joy. There will be joy in the morning. There will be joy. There will be joy in the morning. Oh, child of God, cry no more. Oh, there will be joy in the morning. Ah, oh, there will be joy in the morning. Ah, oh, there will be joy in the morning. Oh, child of God, oh, cry no more. Oh, there will be joy in the morning. There will be joy in the morning. Oh, there will be joy in the morning. Oh, child of God, cry no more. Oh, there will be joy in the morning. There will be joy in the morning. In Jesus' name, there will be joy in the morning. Oh, oh child of God, cry no more. There will be joy in the morning. You are bigger than what people say, Jehovah. You are bigger than what people say. Father, you are bigger than what people say, Rabbi. You are bigger than what people. Oh, Father, you are good. Oh, you are kind. You are bigger than what people say. Father, you are good. Oh, you are kind. You are bigger than what people say. Father, you are bigger than what people say, Rabbi. You are bigger than what people say. Oh, you are bigger than what people say, Maranatha. You are bigger than what people say. Oh, Father, you are good. Oh, you are kind. You are bigger than what people say. Oh, you are excellent. You are marvelous. Bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. Maranatha, you are bigger than what people say. Oh, Father, you are bigger than what people say. Rabbi, you are bigger than. Oh, Father, you are good. Oh, you are kind. You are bigger than what people say. Oh, you are excellent. You are marvelous. You are bigger than what people say. Oh, Father, you are good. You are kind. You are bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. Jehovah's Witness, you are bigger than what people say. Father, you are bigger than what people say. Jehovah's Witness, you are bigger than what people say. Oh, Father, you are good. Oh, you are kind. Oh, you are bigger than what people say. Oh, you are excellent. You are marvelous. You are bigger than what people say. Oh, Father, you are good. Oh, you are kind. You are bigger than what people say. Oh, you are excellent. You are marvelous. You are bigger than what people say. Oh, you are bigger than what people say, Maranatha, you are bigger than what people say. Father, you are bigger than what people say, Rabbi, you are bigger than what people say. Oh, Father, you are good. Oh, you are kind, you are bigger than what people say. Oh, you are excellent. You are marvelous. You are bigger than what people say. Hallelujah. Our God is bigger than what people say. He is bigger than what we think he is. Let us begin to worship him, to thank him, to glorify his, his his goodness and mercy upon our life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you, King of Glory. We thank you, Shed of Day. We thank you, I am that I am the beginning and the end. Father, we thank you for your love, kindness, for your goodness and mercy upon our life. Father, thank you, Lord Jesus, Father. <coughs> thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, for your love, oh Lord Jesus Christ, and as a Father, upon our life. We thank you, Lord Father, for your divine protection, oh Lord Jesus, Father, for the unseen battle that you are fighting for us, oh Lord Jesus Christ, and as a Father, we thank you. We glorify your holy name, oh Lord Father. We give you all the praise, Lord. We give you all the adoration. You are worthy, you are excellent, you are marvelous, you are wonderful. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, ancient of days. I am that I am. We thank you. Lamb of trouble, Judah, we thank you. Lamb of God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord Father. Shekinah glory, we thank you. We thank you, Maranatha. We thank you, King of glory. We thank you, Lord of Lord, King of King. Father, we give you the glory. The world is not enough for Lord Father to appreciate you. The world is not enough for Lord Jesus, Father, to say thank you to you for everything that you are doing in our life. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, for saving our life. Lord Father, for taking us, us out of darkness to light. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you. We give you the praise lord we give you the adoration we give you the honor you are worthy you are excellent you are marvelous in jesus mighty name we pray Amen. let us go before the throne of mercy the bible says in the book of uh first uh, john 1 9 1 verse 8 says if we say we have no sin we deceive ourselves verse 9 said if we confess our sin he is faithful to forgive our sin and to cleanse us from all our righteousness so let us go before the throne of mercy to ask him for mercy to confess our sin and ask him for mercy in the name of jesus father lord jesus i come before your throne of mercy oh lord i come before your throne of mercy oh lord jesus father to present myself as a sinner i am a sinner oh lord jesus because of that i sin against you father through my mind oh lord father my thoughts my eyes my ears my mind my heart, my hope, for oh your Lord, oh Lord, Father, sin against you. I'm a sinner before you, O oh Lord, Father, I was shaped in iniquity. Father, in, in, in iniquity, my Father conceived me, O oh Lord, Jesus, Father. Have mercy on me, Lord. Have mercy, O oh Lord, Jesus, Father, for the uh, I'm confessing sin, O oh Lord, Jesus, Father, that I don't remember. Have mercy, O oh Lord, Jesus, because for I'm done restitution that I don't remember. Father, have mercy on me, O oh Lord, Jesus, because for everything that I think is right but is wrong in your eyes that I'm doing. Father, have mercy on me. Father, forgive me, O Lord Jesus. Father, remove every spot in my garment of salvation, my robe of righteousness, O Lord. Father, have mercy on my children. Have mercy on my siblings. Have mercy on my father. Have mercy on my nieces, nieces and nephews, my cousins, O Lord, Father, my aunties. Father, have mercy on my entire family, O Lord. Father, have mercy on the body of Christ, O Lord. Father, have mercy on every member of this ministry, O Lord, Father, in their family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy on my neighbors, O Lord. Father, have mercy on my colleagues. Have mercy on every people, O Lord, Father, in my environment, O Lord. Father, Father, have mercy, have mercy on my friends, O oh Lord Jesus, as I told you. Father, have mercy, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, for what we are doing that is not pleasing you, Lord. Father, that is bringing, O oh Lord, Father, the wrath upon us, O oh Lord, Father, have mercy, forgive us, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us pray the blood of Jesus to cleanse us from every filthiness of the flesh, every filthiness of the spirit, so we can perfect holiness with the fear of God in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray the blood of Jesus to cleanse my soul, body, spirit, my garment of salvation, my robe of righteousness, my children, garment of salvation, my children, robe of righteousness, my siblings, garment of salvation, my children, my siblings, robe of righteousness. To cleanse, oh Lord Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my father, my siblings, my nephews and niece, my cousin, my aunties, oh Lord Jesus Christ, oh Lord, Father, from every filthiness of the flesh and the spirit. Father, to cleanse me from every filthiness of the flesh and the spirit, to cleanse my children, the body of Christ, this ministry, every member of this ministry, Father, cleanse us, oh Lord, Father, with the blood of Jesus, purify us, oh Lord, Father, make us blameless, oh Lord, Father, in your presence, oh Lord Jesus. Father, remove, oh Lord, Father, every stain in our garment of salvation, our robe of righteousness, oh Lord, Father, cleanse our soul, body, spirit, oh Lord, Father, to be preserved, to be preserved. Blameless, O Lord, Father, for your coming in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, do you drink the blood of that to cleanse us, O Lord, Father, from every unconfessed sin, O Lord, for any undone restitution, O Lord, Father, every unpaid debt, O Lord, Jesus, Father, that we still have. Father, we pray the blood of Jesus, Father, to cast every idle word that proceeds out of our mouth. Father, we cancel it with the blood of Jesus Christ, O Lord, Father, we make confident, O Lord, Father, with our eyes, O Lord, Father, that we not sin against it in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord, Father, we pray the blood of Jesus to purify us, to sanctify us, O Lord, Father, our children, our family, our love, Wants our neighbors in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Let us welcome the Holy Spirit. Let us welcome the Holy Spirit in our midst. We cannot do without the Holy Spirit. He's our comforter, is our teacher. He's there to teach us all things that we need to know, to need to learn. He's also there to bring everything in our remembrance according to the 
to the book of John 14, 26. Let us pray. Father, Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Come and teach us. Come and comfort us. Come and teach us all things that we need to know. Come and bring all things in our remembrance in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, to fill us all over. Baptize us with the Holy Ghost and fire. Baptize us with the Holy, Holy, Holy Ghost and fire. Fill us all over with the complete fruit of spirit. Holy Spirit, fill us with your wisdom, your knowledge, your discernment. Holy Spirit of God, we need you, Father. We need you in the name of Jesus. Your power, Lord Jesus, Father, to serve you with fear and trembling in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, come and open our spiritual eyes. Fill us, Lord Father, with vision and revelation, Lord Father, to see things that we need to know about ourselves in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Come and fill us with your power, with your knowledge, with discernment, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, with understanding, O Lord Father, in the word of God. Holy Spirit, O Lord Jesus, Father, open our spiritual eyes to see, O Lord Father, open our spiritual ears to hear from you in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We cannot do without you. Father, your presence in our midst will make the enemy to scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Come and teach us how to live holy life. Come and teach us how to be blameless. Teach us how to be blameless, Holy Spirit. We welcome you. We invite you in our midst today. Come and teach us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Let us put on the whole arm of God to help us to be able to stand against every words of the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we put on the all arm of God. My children, I cover them with the all arm of God. I cover my family with the all arm of God. Every member of this ministry in our gathering right now, we cover ourselves with the all arm of God. All over, I put on the all arm of God. All over to protect us against every voice of the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus, to help us. All over to be to be able to stand against every voice of the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we cover ourselves. We protect. We put on Christ. Christ in us, all over. If His Christ is for us, nobody will be against us. We put on Christ to protect us against every of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Isaiah 54 verse 15 that they will surely gather together against us. But because, because the, of their gathering is not of God, they will fall for our sake. So let us go against them, against every gathering of the enemy. It can be under the sea, in the forest, in the land, on the hair. Whatever they are gathering, planning evil, how to destroy the body of Christ, how to make us not to make heaven, how to make us not to concentrate in this Bible study today. Let the fire of God, I mean the thunder fire of God, the fire that consumes Sodom and Gomorrah to go to destroy the evil gathering and to destroy the evil plan in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come against every gathering of the enemy. Wherever my the power in my father's house are gathering right now, they, they, wherever where they are gathering under the sea, the foreign marine power gathering, Satan Gathering, demonic gathering, witches and wizard gathering, whatever they are gathering right now, planning evil against my life, against my children's life, against this ministry's life, against the body of Christ, against all of Jesus. Father, this Bible study, Father, let the thunder fire of God locate them and scatter them, destroy them in the land, in the air, in the forest, under the sea. Whatever they are gathering, planning evil against us, let the fire of God locate them and destroy their evil plan in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the fire of God consume. And destroy their evil plan, their evil activities in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Holy Ghost fire locate them. Holy Ghost fire locate them. We in their hidden places, pause them, destroy them. Every evil mirror they are using to communicate, any evil instrument they are using to communicate, <coughs> let those instruments catch fire right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every cabalistic mirror, every evil satellite, every evil parabolic, every evil instrument they are using to communicate, to get information from us. Let the thunder fire of God destroy it. Consume it. Burn it to ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy it. Scatter it all. In the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Destroy them, Father. According to your word, O Lord, Father. You say they will not come to naught. They will not proceed. They will not proceed. Whatever they are planning against us, you will not work for them. You will be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ on Nazareth. Father, destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ on Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We are going to commit the message of God that God will use to talk to us. We are going to commit it in the hand of God. We are going to say, Holy Spirit, take over her. Anoint her tongue. Anoint her mouth. That the word that you proceed out of her mouth to be the one that is coming from you, Lord. Give her, fill her with the spirit of boldness to deliver it the way you want her to deliver this message without compromising, without missing anything that will be 
profitable for your children in the mighty name of jesus let us pray for her Oh, Heavenly you. Father, we commit your daughter, Lord Father, the messenger that you want to use, Lord Father, to deliver this message of today, Father, we commit her into your hand, Lord Father, fill her with the spirit of boldness, Lord Father, Holy Spirit, if you talk through our own Lord Jesus, Father, use our mouth, Lord Father, baptize our mouth, Lord Jesus, Father, with the Holy Ghost and fire to bring the message that is coming straight to your throne. Father, silence every flesh on her, oh Lord Jesus, Father, let the Holy Spirit alone to be activated on her, oh Lord Father, to talk through her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, fill her with the spirit of boldness to deliver the message the way you want her to deliver without missing anything, without removing anything, oh Lord Jesus. Father, fill the filler with the boldness, oh Lord, to deliver that message the way it is, the way you give it to her, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Nazar. Father, let that message, oh Lord, Father, to bring, oh Lord Jesus, Father, more soul to your kingdom. Father, let that message, oh Lord, Father, to transform souls that are listening, that are following, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Nazar. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. King of glory, shade of day, I am that I am. We thank you, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, for giving us another opportunity to be in your presence, O oh Lord. You say in your word that man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of your mouth. And you give us the commandment in Joshua 1, verse 8, that this book of law, which is not the part from how we should meditate it day and night. Father, we are here to meditate your word, O oh Lord. We are here, O oh Lord, Father, to learn from it. We are here, O oh Lord, Father, to practice it, O oh Lord, Father, to do according to all that is written there through your Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are gathered here today to hear from you. Holy Spirit, come and take over in this Bible study in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we thank you. We open this Bible verse in the Bible study in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. You alone, O Lord, Father, to be praised in our midst in Jesus' mighty name. We cover this, our gathering with the blood of Jesus and we open it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So I'm going to welcome the woman of God that is going to be a blessing and to be a person that the Holy Spirit has chosen today to deliver this message. May the Lord bless you, Mami Fisher, Evangelist Fisher, over to you. May the Lord bless you, man. May the Lord bless you. I welcome you all in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God for God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good for giving us another blessful day. Hallelujah. To the name of God, we bless God Almighty in Jesus' name. I would like to have a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, patience of age, you are worthy. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. There is no other God is like you. You are the most high God. But I thank you for this special moment that you gather us right now to sit at your feet. You say, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Father, we are hungry, we are thirsty, Lord. Come and feed us, Almighty oh God, and shall die for your glory in Jesus' name. And as we are feeding, oh, help us, Almighty oh God, to grow with it, Almighty oh God. Heavenly Father, help us to remember your word and help us to put it in practice, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be magnified. Father, I decree you, grace in me, Holy Spirit of God, fill me afresh. Put your word in my mouth, Holy Spirit of God. Anoint my voice, anoint my lips for your glory in Jesus' name. When I speak to each and every one of us, Almighty God, Holy Spirit of God, we depend on you. I cover the message that will come from your true room right now with your precious blood. I cover each and every one of us with your precious blood of Jesus, my Father. I thank you, Lord. All powers belong to you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. Ma, can you quickly please check your volume? It's a bit low, please. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Is he okay? Hallelujah. I'm not hearing you, Ma. Brother Samuel says. Now, now is a bit better than before. That's okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. And the Lord bless you all. And the Lord bless you. I welcome you all of you. Evangelist. It's not loud too much on Facebook. It's not loud. Uh, on Facebook. Ah, okay. You are muted, ma. Maybe when I continue talking, then it... yeah, you need to be a little bit higher because it's really low. Okay, slow. Okay, praise Master Jesus. Pray, Holy Spirit of God, to help me. <laughs> Lord Jesus, help you. I'll... We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for God. We bless His holy name. We thank God for God in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 To the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you, Brother Bra Samuel. This is a testimony. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. So let us turn to the book of, uh, we are seeing the, we are seeing the book of uh, First Corinthians 4. 
the book of First Corinthians 4. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. From 1 to, to 20, 21. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless God for God. Amen. So I read in Jesus' name. The book of 1 Corinthians 4, I start from 1. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Let a man assume the account of us as of the ministers of Christ and the stewards of the misery of God. Moreover, it is required in, in the stewards that a man be found faithful. But with a man, it is a very small thing that I should have been a judge of you. All of a man's judgment, yea, I judge not my own self. For I know nothing by myself, yet am I not in the hereby justified. But he that judge, judgeth me is the Lord. Therefore, judge, and not, judge no, nothing before the, the time until the Lord come. Who ne both and we ne bring it to light, the hidden things of a darkness, and we ne make a manifest the cancer of their hearts, and then shall every man have, have, have praise of a God. And these, these things, brethren, I have in a figure transferred to myself and to Apollos from for, for, for your sakes that uh, ye might uh, learn uh, in uh, us, not uh, to think of a uh, man above uh, that which is uh, written, that uh, no one of uh, you uh, being uh, puffed up for one uh, against another. For the who make it, uh, who make it a day, who, who make it, who make it a day to uh, defy from uh, another. And uh, what uh, has the uh, thou, that uh, thou didst uh, not uh, receive, None of none if thou didst receive it. Why does it thou glory? I say, if thou had hadest, if then thou hadest not received it, it. Now ye are for ye are for now. Now ye are for now ye are rich. Ye have an ye have an reigned as a, as a kings. Without us, and I wonder to the God, ye ne did the rain, that a wind also might in the rain with you. For I think that a, that a God has in a set for to us the apostles last, as a, it was a appointed to the death for the winner and a made a, a spectacle unto the world and to the angels and to men. And to men, we have a force, we have we have fools for Christ's sake, but ye are the wise in Christ. We are the weak, but ye are the strong, ye are the honorable, but we are the despised. Even unto this and the present hour, we are both a hunger and the test, and they are naked, and they are baffled, and the and they have no no certain no certain during the place, and the labor working with our own hands, being a revered we in a bless, being 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 a persecutor we in a suffer it, being a being a defend we in a in entreat, we are made on the feed the feeding of the world. And they are there us scoring of uh, all things unto uh, this uh, thing. I write, I write not uh, these uh, things to uh, shame you, but uh, as my beloved sons, uh, I warn you. For the door that ye have uh, ten uh, thousand uh, instructors in uh, Christ, yet uh, have uh, ye uh, not many fathers. For the uh, in uh, for the uh, in uh, Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus, I have uh, be, be, begotten uh, you 
through the dead gospel. Therefore, I beseech, I beseech you, being a ye and a followers of me, for the days of course have I sent unto you, Timotheus, who is my beloved son, and a faithful in the Lord, who shall bring you into the remembrance of my ways, which have been in Christ, as I teach everywhere in every church. Now the summer are puffed up, as a done, I would not come to you, but I will come to you shortly, if the Lord will, and we know that no not the, the speech of them which are puff up, but the power for the kingdom of God is not in the world, but in power. What we the last verse 21, what 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 we hear. Shall I not come unto you with a rod or oh, in love and in the spirit of meekness? Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God for the word of God. We thank God, Almighty God. We bless his holy name. Hallelujah. We thank God for Apostle Paul. We bless the name of the Lord. Apostle Paul. Hallelujah. Glory be to God Almighty. Excellent Daddy. I'm just only the name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Okay. Mm. Okay, so we are going right now to start from one. Praise Master Jesus. I will read from one to two. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Let a man a soul an account of us as of the ministers of Christ, and as, and as towards of the ministry of God. Moreover, moreover it, is a it is a required in the stewards that a man being a founder faithful, praise Master Jesus, as children of God, as, a, 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 as a Apostle Paul, hallelujah, so the 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 Christ in the the church in the in the in the Corinthian in the in the Corinth in the Corinth, he told them about faithfulness, about faithfulness for us as a child of God, being the children of God, to be faithful, to be faithful in the things we do, to be faithful in the things we do for God, in the things we do for others. To be for us to be faithful. So as the, the, the word of God is coming, the, when do we hear the word of the Lord? Instruction from Almighty God. May the Lord give us the grace to, to be faithful and follow that instruction and do what God tells us to do. When God says something in his word, tell us to do something. And the servant of God, by the grace of God, by the help of the Holy Spirit, explain to us through the help of the Holy Spirit. We should keep it on for us to grow. For us to grow. As we are hearing the word of the Lord, I thank God for the Holy Spirit that dwells in us, that lives in us. He's the one that teaching us. He's the one that enlightening us for us to know the word of the Lord. He's the one that is still reminding us when we, when we are busy, the, we're busy doing our things, but it's the Holy Spirit that will still whisper the word of the Lord in our heart that you, you find yourself, you start singing, but you are working, you are busy, but you just see, you start singing praises, you know, it's the help of the Holy Spirit. So that is what our Father God wants for us, for us to be, to be faithful, hallelujah to the Lamb of God, to be faithful. He wants us to be faithful. As Apostle Paul was telling the, the, the church of Corinthians that they should be faithful. They are steward to all of us, we children of God, we are steward, we are steward in the, in the, in the, in the, we are steward to the things of God. Anything that God called us to do as a steward, we, we do it faithfully. Not half, 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 half hard and doing it with complaining, no, that one God, God is not pleasing with when we are doing something for him 
to be grumbling, to be murmuring. Father God do, doesn't like that. He doesn't like that. We want us to be faithful. Goes toward. Praise Master Jesus. Goes toward. Hallelujah. We bless the name of God. As Apostle Paul was reminding them, was telling them for them to be faithful. Praise Master Jesus. There is a reward in faithfulness. Praise Master Jesus to all of us to be found faithful on that day, Almighty God. When he comes to take all of us, we'll be there. Your faithfulness, my faithfulness counts. Praise Master Jesus. It counts a lot that God will reward you and all. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the I would like us to turn to the book of uh, Matthew. Let's see what Father Lord Jesus Christ talk, uh, talks about as two words, to be faithful. For us to be faithful, praise Master Jesus, talks about as two words. Father Lord Jesus is the one that, brought, uh, that, 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 that made this statement, this parable, he said it. Hallelujah to the name of God. The book of uh, Matthew 25. Let us to the book of Matthew 25, 14 to 15. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. It's good for us to be faithful as a child of God, as a, as, a, as a Christian. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So verse 14 to 15, the book of Matthew 25. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. 14 to 15, I read in Jesus' name. For the kingdom of a heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, who called his own servants, and delivered unto them his goods, and unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his and their several ability, and straight away took a his and their journey. Praise Master Jesus. You see, the time, uh, Father, as Father Lord Jesus Christ said, uh, that the, the master, the, the master of uh, these uh, servants wants to travel. He delivered, uh, he delivered talents to them according to their ability. Praise Master Jesus. He gave one five. He gave one. Uh, he, he gave uh, one and uh, two. Another one. Uh, one. He knows the one. He knows how many. He knows the, the ability of each and every one of them. He know this one can able to handle five. This one we able to handle the two. This one we able to handle one. He gave them according to their ability, but the uh, one, the two, used theirs. But the other one was not faithful. He was not a faithful servant. The one that didn't use his own, that was not faithful, he went and buried his own. He was not faithful, he was not a faithful servant. The one, you know, the one, the, those ones that, 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 that gave, Father God knows that according to their ability, he gave it to, he gave to them. them sorry, the, 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 the master, their master gave it to them. But the two, used their own wisely, work with it. And then there, is, there was profit. They, they gained profit. Profit came out of it. But the one that went and buried his own, there was no profit. And when the, when the master came, praise Master Jesus. So when, when, the man, when the man came, the master came right now. What the master did? The one that even had the lesser one, the one, the one, he took it that he didn't even use it. He didn't, he didn't use that money. He didn't use that, that talent. He didn't use that talent. And Father Lord, Father, the master, when the master died now, took the, the one. He said they should take that, that wanted talent out of that person and give it to who? To the one that, that, that have right now, that have got a 10 talents because he used his five and made uh, 10 talents out of it. And the other one used to, to make how many of it? Four talents out of it. Gain two, this one gave five. Um, but the one, the one, the, the one, uh, one talent didn't use his own. And the one talent has to be taken away from him. And they gave it to the one that has a 10 talents. 
And what happened to that man that, that, that had the one talent that didn't use it? He was punished, severe punished. So when the Father God gave us talents, gift, we've got the gift of God. God gave all his children gift. Depend how you use your, your gift. Praise Master Jesus. So if you are not use our gift God has given to us wisely, we will, on that day, it will get, it will, you know, it will give, it will give to us so much that you, you and you, you and I will be so surprised to see how I bless you and I for the talent that He has given to you, the gift that He has given to you. You didn't go and bury it. I didn't go and bury that gift. Praise Master Jesus. Because he gave to them according to their ability. The ability, the, the ability, and the gift God gave to you, the, 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 the talent God gave to you, he knows the ability. It's also that you and I, as a child of God, we should not envy others. We should not envy others. Don't say, I should not say, you should not say, ah, ah this, God is using this person more than me. Uh, uh, why God didn't give me this uh, talent? Why God didn't give me this gift? No, God knows what fit, God, God knows your ability. He knows what you can able to do with the one he, he gave to you. Uh, you and I, we should be pleased with the one that he gave to us. And let us use that one that he gave to us. The moment we start using that one, that, that one talent, that gift, that one gift we think we have, before you knew what is going on, Father God start adding step by step your, the gift Start coming up step by step. You start seeing you have it yeah, this from this gift to this gift from this girl. It's not just once it comes like this, but at times some of them uh, God gave to them. God, some uh, for God gave to them more. At times it's only one gift you started with. You never uh, then from there God start increasing it when you are faithful to the one that He has given to you. When I'm faithful that, to the gift that he has given to me. Not me, now jealousy, envy of somebody's egg gift. That means my own gift, I have buried it then. I have buried my gift. I'm not, I'm not watering my gift. I'm not trading with my gift. For me, looking at somebody's gift, envy somebody's gift, it will not profit me, it will not profit me nothing. And that one that I have, before you know, nothing, nothing, nothing is there anymore. Then what the person will do, discouragement comes. The person will be discouraged. Before discouragement, bitterness comes. Why God, why are you using this person more than me? And the one that you have gotten, you don't focus on it and it's gone. It's gone. Let us be faithful. As the as the, as the Apostle Paul try, as the Apostle Paul encouraged the, the Corinthians church, they should be faithful. They want we God that the, the, the gift we have, their ability has given to wrong. He knows our ability. Let us use it. We should not start looking. Ah, this one. No, 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 no. Oh, my my ministry is small. Look at the, the, the I started my I started my ministry before this person. I started my ministry before then you start counting, start pointing. Oh, you are not doing yourself good. I'm not doing myself good then. The one that he gave to Lord, let us be faithful in that one. God Almighty is a God, a God that knows everything. It might be if he if he if he gives you he gives you if he gives you a lot a lot of gift once it might ruin you that you even on the way you will stop you said you don't want to do this anymore this is too much for you but he has given you one he has given me one or two let us take that one let us take it and work with it. As, in, as our abilities are coming up, as our the, the, the strength coming up, we are having the strength. God is giving or increasing our boldness in, in, in his word, boldness to speak his word, boldness to do his uh, word. Then we are doing it exactly, faithful to it. Then you will see 
power, Almighty God, start increasing us. May the Lord bless all of us. May the Lord give us the grace to be faithful. What Almighty God, the gift, the talent He has given to us. We should not look at others. We praise them. We thank God for their own, and your own will come. Praise Master Jesus. Your will will come. Praise Master Jesus. Our God is not a respectable person. Let us be faithful. Almighty God, we increase you and I in Jesus' name. Amen. So let us turn to the book of uh, 1 Peter, 1 Peter 4.10. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The book of 1 Peter 4.10. I read in Jesus' name. The book of 1 Peter 4.10. I say, every man has then received the gift. Even, even so minister, the same one or two another. As a good steward of a their manifold grace of God. I thank God for the grace of God. Where you and I don't have grace, where you and I, we see here, I don't have grace. You haven't got that grace because God, have, have, God hasn't given that grace. When God will give you the grace in, that, in, in the place that you see that you are not doing well right now, you, there's no grace. God hasn't given that grace. The grace that he has given to you, let us use it. The gift that he has given to us, let us use it wisely so that he will continue increasing us more of his grace, giving us more, more of his grace. As, a, as, a, as, a, as a apostle, apostle, apostle Peter, Apostle Peter says here, Apostle Peter says, as a, every man has a received the gift, as we, you and I receive the gift, let us use it. As I've already said, by the help of the Holy Spirit, let us use it. We should not be focusing on somebody's gift. This one person has more gift, more than me. No, the one that you have, be pleased with it. Thank God for it. And God will give you grace to continue with it and start increasing the grace on you, his grace on you. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. As Apostle, Apostle, Apostle Peter was saying here, Apostle Peter says, as a as, as many men have received the gift, even so the minister, minister the same one to another. As one, stewards of the manifold grace of God. So we bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord give us the grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Increase our grace every day. And the Lord increase our grace and the folk value. And the use the, 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 the gift. We should not bury it. Don't say, ah, uh, because, you know, uh, this gift, this gift that God gave to me, uh, I, I, I cannot do it. I cannot do it. You know, when, I, when I'm talking to people, they don't listen. They are not listening to me when I say something. That is not your own business. That is not my own business. My own business, go trade with it. Who is bringing the increase is God. Go and trade with that, with that your gift God has given to you, that talent God has given to you. You might say, uh, I'm not, I cannot speak, uh, I'm not an eloquent uh, speaker. Just go. Like I told my father, Almighty God, the time my daddy called me, called me to, to ministry, I told Father God, no, I said, no, daddy, no, no, I cannot do that. Ah, please, Father. <laughs> I said, no, me, no, me, Papa. So I just thank God for God. For God know how he's done. Maybe you right now, God is speaking to you. You don't want to do what, he, what he's telling you to do. The gift he has given you, you, all you, all your mind uh, is not possible. I cannot, no, not me, no me, uh -uh, no me. That I was telling Father God, I said, no, no me. Uh, no, 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 no. I said, please, please, Father, please. I cannot do this. I cannot do this. I cannot do this. Immediately when I was complaining, telling Father God, I cannot do this. You know, Father, I know I'm not, I'm not qualified on this. Father, I'm not qualified. Father, I don't have this. I don't have, you know. 
just talking to you, Father, in my prayer, in my prayer close, in my closest, immediately I heard, because I'd be, re, I'd be, re, I'd be refused when he was te telling me to, I said, no. On this day, when I was, he was saying, I was telling him, no, Father, you know, I cannot do this. I cannot do, you know, I'm not good today. And I'm not, I heard it clear in my spirit, very loud in my spirit. Practice made perfect. Wow. When I heard it, practice made perfect. There was no argument anymore. There was no argument anymore. I said, oh, okay, Father, help me. And I thank God for God. Some of you that follow, that, that knows me in the beginning, you can see the, the message, the time I started and then now. And God is increasing me by the grace of God. So you might, you might be saying the same thing that I was saying to God. God is telling you, practice me perfect, as he told me. Go out there and use that gift. Before you started with that gift, another one, is start increasing it. It start increasing it step by step, step by step, step by step, before you knew what is going on. You yourself, you will be so surprised. Is it me? Is it me? No, no, you, not you. It's Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. It's because of that, he said, go. Go to the whole wide world. Go. He's with you. He's with me. Let us be faithful. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us turn back to the to the previous uh, pre, uh, to the verse we are. Second, uh, first Corinthians 4. Let us go back by the grace of God. So praise Master Jesus. I will read uh, from uh, hallelujah. I, I will read from three to five. First Corinthians four, three to five. I read in Jesus' name. But uh, with me, it is a very small thing that I shouldn't have been a judge of you or of a man's uh, judgment. Yea, I judge and not uh, my own self, for now I know nothing. By, by myself, yet am I not a hereby justified, but a he that, a judge, that a judge at me is the Lord. Five, therefore judge nothing before the, the time until the, the Lord come. Who ne bought a will ne bring it to in the light, the hidden things of darkness. And we ne make a manifest, and we make a mani manifest the cancers of the heart. And then shall every man have a praise of God. Praise Master Jesus. Every man we have a praise of God on that day when Father God we comes to judge. Praise Master Jesus. Almighty God, to, 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 when he comes, Lord Jesus Christ comes. Hallelujah. He's the one that is judged. He's the one that will judge us. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You know, most of us, you know, we may, we, may, we may be tempted to judge, and we may be tempted to judge fellow uh, our fellow believers, thinking, uh, this person, is he, is he right with God? Uh, this person, is he a child of God? You know? Whether they are good followers of Jesus, it's God that knows. The one you might think, you 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 are now might be thinking, ah, this person is a follower of God. It might be that person is not even a follower of God. On that day, all of us we know. Now we are doing what we are doing right now. We think nobody knows. All of us will be there that day, and that judgment day. All of us, all the children of God, we see. Ah, all of us, our eye will be open. Why, why, why? Ah, this one was doing what he was doing. He was not doing it with our own or with his own heart. Is that time all of us we know? But now, but now you and I, we might be tempted to join the, to judge a fellow Christian. 
ah, this one, I don't think it's a follow of Jesus, a true follow of Jesus. I think this one is really the follow up. But, you know, many times we judge. I said, when many times, even me, I judge. Man, the Lord have mercy. That before you know, you see that person that you think uh, is, is, is so holy. That person that you think, ah, this person is so low. Ah, this person love God. Before you knew what is going on, I thank God. I thank God we just, you know, you know and just to, to let us know a little bit, a little bit pinch of, of uh, something that we think that that person is so like this. God, we just a little bit, just see my daughter, just see my son, just a little thing. You say, wow. Wow. Praise Master Jesus. It's because of Father God said, and the, the, we should, uh, the Apostle Paul said, we should not judge. On that day, all of us will see. When Father Lord Jesus will come and judge, eh? all of us, all, all the Christians, all of us will be there to see. Praise Master Jesus. We should not uh, say, ah, this, this, this person is he a follower of Jesus. This person is, you know, that day we will know. Praise Master Jesus. God knows the heart. God knows the heart. Praise Master Jesus. Only God that knows the heart. We might be judging. Maybe we judge right or we don't judge. We don't. Is that the all of us we know by the grace of God? May the Lord keep us. And the Lord give us the grace to make heaven. For all of us to see. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For, for, for all of us to see. Ah, this person. Praise Master. As Apostle Paul warned them. Apostle Paul warned them. The, the, the church of uh, Corinthian, Corinthian church. He warned them. Don't judge. Don't think in your heart, ah, this person is not a, a true follower of Jesus. Don't do that. He warned them. And as he's warning them, he's warning you and I right now. Maybe we, are fi we find ourselves in that, in that situation. We are saying like that, judging in our heart. It's not good. It's God that judge. Praise Master Jesus. Apostle Paul warned the, warned the Corinthians should also warn us. He's warning us, warning you and I. You and I can confront. When you see your brother, you see your sister doing something that is not right. He's sinning against God. And you know that sin will take that person. If that person don't give up that sin, that, that person, that sin will ruin that person's life. Yes, go confront that person. Confront that person, my sister, my brother. Please, what you are doing, this thing is not right. Please stop it. This thing will not, it will not lead you to heaven. Confront that person. Tell that person. Preach to that person. God will be in your mouth. God, as you are speaking now, the, the word of God are coming out. It will tell that person. If you don't, you think that person is not changing. It's, that is not your own uh, business. That is not my own business. You have done yours by going there and warning that person, confronting that person. This is what you are doing is not good. But don't judge that person. I should not judge that person. By now, telling that person, confront that person, finish, then I will take phone or call somebody else there. I start judging that person. I start watering that person down. No, mm -mm. it's not good. It's not good. Apostle Paul was warning them. We must not judge other service. We must not judge other people's service for Christ. God will judge. God is the one. Christ is the one. Jesus is the one that will judge. He knows. He knows the heart. He knows everything about 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 every one of us. Praise Master Jesus. Because when you are judging somebody, you feel that you are better than that person. When we are judging somebody, I'm judging somebody. What am I doing? Ah, that means I'm better than this person. Ah, had it been me, I could have not do this. Had it been me, I would do more than this. Mm -mm. Don't say so. The ability God gave to that person is using it. You that he gave more, you're using yours. Don't judge. You should not condemn. 
Praise Master Jesus. Let us encourage each other in the body of Christ. Let's all encourage each other to grow more, to grow stronger in the Lord. Not putting one and no, not putting one down so that I can go up. No, it's not it, that is not that is not the not the character of God. Bringing one down so that I can elevate myself. Slander one so that I can elevate myself. Feel myself, I feel so proud, I feel so proud, arrogant. No, God hates it. Jesus hates it. As, as the, and the Apostles, Apostle Paul was warning them, you can go and confront that person. Tell that person, my brother, my sister, please, I just, I'm not judging you. I just want to tell you what is in the word of God, what you are doing. If you don't change it, if you, if you close your eye in there, it's head fire. Because you love that person, you told that person the truth. It's up to that person to take it or not to take it. No going now down there. Sergeant, hey, I have, you know, I went there, I told to, I told to, I told to how, I told to him, he doesn't want to heal. Ah, uh, if he died, we go to her. Uh, none of us got to want to, to go to her. Intercede for that person. If you look at your past, if you think, if you, if you, if you, if you, you and I can think back, our past were even worse than that person. The things that we have done. If we can remember, God just bring it to our remembrance to see. Not to be proud, not to be arrogant. Arrogance. So you see that that person is even better than me. I was worse in sin, deeper in sin than this person. If God can change me, he can change that person. And that, you know, I thank God for God. May the Lord give me the grace. May the Lord give us the grace to think immediately go back to our past. See the grace God have given, has given to me. See, see the mercy that he has given to me. See the patience that he has, has, towards, has towards me. Has to, just have patience on me. So when I see somebody doing something that is not, is not right, I thank God for the Holy Spirit. I praise, I praise Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit to continue, continue, do it in my life to remember, Father, I was worse than this person. Father, if you can change me, you can change this person. I did much, much evil than this person. But be, formally, if I just see somebody, they, ah, I have to, I want, I want to judge, I want to say something, but I thank God for the Holy Spirit. Discuss so that we need Holy Spirit to break us, to remod us. When the Holy Spirit is reminding me, when I see somebody, if that, 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 that flesh, the flesh in me want to talk, Holy Spirit will remind me. I said, Father, forgive me. I was, I was worse, too much. I did too much evil than this person. You that changed me, you can change this person. And that, 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 word, that word that God is giving me the grace, Holy Spirit is giving me the grace to remember that I was not better than this person. He's bringing me more to, be, to see myself, for me to humble myself, that where I am right now, it's not by my power, it's not by my mind, it's the grace of God. He that gave me the grace, he will give that person that I take, his worst, I think he's worse than mine, I think he's worse than me, that he can give that person as well, the grace. I pray may God continue use, may God continue putting his word for reminding me, for me not to judge somebody, for me not to judge somebody, for him reminding me in my past to think I was worse than this person. Father, change this person. As you change me, you can change this person. Please put, if you haven't, if you, you haven't been praying that prayer, ask God and be happy, Holy Spirit to be reminding you. You will see, if God, Holy Spirit is start reminding you, you will not judge nobody. 
You see that person, your mind, your heart is your, your heart is full of pity for that person, of love that you don't want that person to lose. So you were better than you intercede for that person. Oh, Father, you did it for me. You can do it for this person. You know, the, the, when the Holy Spirit starts reminding you and I, our past, we don't judge. Even though the flesh wants you to judge, you remember, Holy Spirit will remind me, remember where God took you from. Humbleness. May the Lord give us the grace to be humble. It's humble. Humbleness. Is, you and I humble ourselves to God, to people. There is a great reward. Look at the reward of our lovely Jesus. Now, Father God gave him a name that is above all that name because of his humbleness. May the Lord help each and every one of us. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. If we see that we are arrogant, Ask God to deliver us. He will deliver us from that, that flesh, that flesh that want to that want to destroy our, our life, that want to destroy our future, that want to destroy our, our eternity, heaven eternity. We will not allow him. Turn that from above. We locate that, that flesh, destroy that flesh out of our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. So now we are starting again. We are we are reading from a six, six, six. Praise master. Oh, sorry. Let us turn to the book of uh, James. James 4 12. The book of James 4 12. Praise master Jesus. The book of James 4 12. I read in Jesus' name. There, there is one lawgiver who is uh, able to uh, save and uh, to uh, destroy. Who at a thou that a judges another? See, Apostle James was asking us and asking the children of God, including you and I. Apostle James was asking, he said, there is one lawgiver, that is Jesus, who is able to save and to destroy, that is Jesus. It's not you, not me. He said, who art thou that the judges another question? That you just see somebody in your heart, you have already condemned that person. I have seen that person, I just condemned that person without they even know. Ten, maybe 10% 10 of that person I knew about, but 90%, I don't even know anything about that person. Then I will just condemn that person in my mind, in my heart. I've already condemned and judged that person anyhow. Apostle James will ask him, Who are you? Who am I to judge? Who am I? Who are you to condemn somebody that God created from his own image? We confront them, correct them. It's God that will change them. It's not me, it's not you. You speak the word, leave it there. You have done your own, you have done your own duty. Your own duty to confront them and attend the truth. And leave the, 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 the rest for Jesus. He is the one that changed the heart. Not me, not you. You know, at times we, we think we can change somebody. We think we can change somebody. I don't really know why we think we can change somebody. It's like we are the one that created them, put them in their mother's womb. It's like we are the one that, that formed them in their mother's womb. We think we can change, I can change this person. I cannot change nobody. So let God that change, change his children. We can try to say something. If God is not changing that person, that person will be, we will, will continue getting worse. 
you think you are changing that person, we see that uh, <laughs> the more you are trying, the more you are trying, the more you are trying, the harder that person is getting on you, harder that person is getting on what you are trying to change that person from. May the Lord help us, beloved. Let us turn to the book of uh, Timothy, Second Timothy. The book of Second Timothy. The book of Second Timothy, four one to four. Second Timothy four, one to four. I read in Jesus' name. I charge a day therefore and before the God, and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall the judge at the quick and at the death. At his and appearing and his and a kingdom. Two, preach the word. Hallelujah. Preach the word. Be in instance, in season, out of season, reproof, rebuke, exhort with all the long suffering and doctrine. Three, for the time when they come, when the day, day will not endure sound doctrine. But after that they are on the lost, they shall heap on to themselves, teachers having an each in their ears. For, and they shall turn away their, their ears from the truth, and they shall be in a turn unto the fables. Praise Master Jesus. We thank God for Brad Timothy. The book of in the, in the second, second Timothy. The word of the Lord is said, uh, sorry, we thank God for, for, for Brad, um, Apostle Paul is the one that wrote it. So Apostle Paul now still saying that you, you are now, we should not judge. It's God that judge, judge the quick and the, and the death. He said, you are not, the, what you and I can do that we know that is what God gave us the grace to do at any time, preach the word. Instant, in season, out of season, preach the word. Not judging. I should not judge. Go out there, go out there, I go out there, preach the word. Praise Master Jesus. That is what Father God wants us to do. That is what the Apostle Paul was saying. That is what we need, not to judge, but to preach the word. Tell them. Because if you and I don't tell them, they will, as it says, it's, it's in, in a verse, in, in verse uh, what is it called? No, no. Listen, it said in the, in, the, in the verse two, it said, preach the word. Be, be in an instant, in, in season, out of season. Reproof, 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 that correct them. When you see that where you need to correct, correct. If you are not judging, you correct. Praise master, rebuke, you rebuke. And when you rebuke somebody, because you love that person, you rebuke that, oh, my brother, my sister, what you are doing is wrong. God is not pleasing with this thing. Look at what the word of the Lord said. You rebuke that person, let that person know. Praise master Jesus. And God we help that person, we help us. It's an exalt with the honor, long suffering and adultery to be long suffering, to be to have a patience with one another, to be patient with one another. Not say, ah, I'll be telling that person, doesn't it, it's not changing. No, have patience with long suffering. You, you, you and I, we can we can see how many times we heard the gospel. How many times somebody has spoken to Roy about God we didn't even he want to hear? By the time God wants us to hear, we, we couldn't resist it, isn't it? So not that you preach to somebody, somebody once, you tell that person once, it doesn't listen, you say it's okay. No, be praying in your closet, interceding for that person. God will tell that person, that seed that you have sold, it will take root, it will grow, and it will bring a great harvest. You know, the, one of the testimony I listened to, this is a Muslim woman. 
this most nice woman in the in the in the in the when she was studying with a with a Christian lady. So she was the, the Christian lady. I thank God for that that girl. Though they were the same uh, uh, roommates, and when that one that one spoke to to her about uh, God, she said, and she confessed it by her mouth. And but now God is using her to win so Muslim the uh, Muslim people to Jesus. And it be that the, this uh, her roommate because that roommate told told her about Jesus. He beat this woman, this girl. What all the words, all the evil words, the F words, she can remember, use it to, to abuse this girl. And this girl didn't say nothing. And when, so when this girl is reading the word of God, reading Bible, it makes her to more angry. She said one day she really beat this girl, really beat her very well. This girl is not raising her hand up to, to, to fight back. And they took the, 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 the Bible and they tore the Bible. And the lady said, the guest said, this Bible that you tore, this Bible, you will use it to preach the word of God. And that one got her more angry. But what happened? God, did he come? God came the time he wants to use this summer. And now she's passing through persecution really severe one but she's now she stood for jesus claim me the word of the lord in holiness and righteousness she don't care it's what though somebody is beating hannah and you now you can see the river the all the souls that she's winning right now that girl is the one that saw the seed by the grace of god that girl show her that she is the genuine child of God. She was not quarreling with her. She was not uh, exchanging words with her. She was just calm. Even the words that is given to her, beating her, she doesn't raise her hand up to fight her back. You see, that is why Father Lord Jesus Christ said, we should, we are the following, Lord Jesus Christ said, we should love one another so that People will know that we are his follower. We are, his, we, are, we are Christians. We are children of God. So that our behavior speaks louder than our, 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 our actions. That you will see that when you are doing something, you think people doesn't watch, people doesn't see you. They see. So now the soul that this woman shall now win it for Jesus. All those souls came from this, 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 uh, this girl. And this girl would just, ah, no, I will put this Christian on side. Mm, 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 mm. I, will, I will fight you. We will fight to the end. We will fight. And then now she will tie her wrapper. Yeah, that one will tie her, uh, uh, her, her wrapper so they start fighting. Fighting each other. So do you think this girl, this Muslim woman could have come to know Jesus? The humbleness of that girl. She was very humble. She was humble. And now she's testifying. As a Christian, we, let us be so. May the Lord give us that grace to bear with one and another. Loving one and another. Not fighting. That you say, you are a Christian. Your neighbors, if somebody saying about you in the presence of your neighbor that you are Christian, we said, please forget it. Who is Christian? That one, if <laughs> that one is a Christian, everybody is a Christian. No, it doesn't supposed to be so. Huh? May the Lord give us the grace as a child of God. May the Lord give us this. We, we thank God for God. We thank God for, for the word of the Lord. He said, we should, he said we, let us preach the word of God. Let us preach the word of God in season, in season, out of season. Even though you see that you are tired, go job, bring, it, bring somebody in your mind to speak. Oh, you are, you are walking, you are just tired, you don't want anything. God said, please speak to this person. I know you are tired. 
if you if you are going out, you have a trust. It's very good. If somebody, Holy Spirit, just whisper to your heart. If you can able to say, "How are you, my sister? How are you, my brother? Ah, where do you live? Oh no, no, just that. Ah, Jesus love you. Only that Jesus love you have sown a seed. You have sown it. That person might be going through something you don't even know, and that Jesus loves you. It will come into into her heart or her, his uh, heart. Start thinking about that word. Really? Jesus loves me. I could remember the time I went to evangelism. This man, she, he, sorry, this man was a drunkard. He was drunk in that morning, in that morning when I wanted. He was drunk with, with his bottle, singing out there, going, you know. As I was saying, Jesus loves you, give your life to Jesus. Could you believe this drunken man that was staggering? Pass me by, and I came back again to me. He said, "What do you say? I heard you. You said what? Jesus loves me." I said, "Yes, Jesus loves you, really. Jesus loves me." I said, "Yes." Then he went. He went to where he, he was going. You know, praise Master Jesus. Let us treat the word in season, out of season, as Apostle Paul said. There is a great reward waiting for you and I in Jesus' name. Amen. So let us go back now. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I will read to 15. So, First Corinthians 4. First Corinthians 4. I will read from a 8 to 16 to 15. I read in Jesus' name. I read in Jesus' name. Now ye are full. Now ye are ne rich. Ye ne have an reign. Ye have an reign as the kings without us. And I want that you ne God. Ye ne did reign. That a winner also might reign with you. For I ne think that a God. Has a set a force, also the apostle the last, as a, it was a appointed to death for the winner and the made a spectacle unto the, the world and the to angels and the two men. And the two men, when winner falls for Christ's sake, but a ye and a wise in the Christ, and a wise, wise, wise in the Christ, we are weak, but a ye and a strong, ye. And a honor, ye are honorable, but we are a despised. Even unto this the present hour, we are both a hunger and a thirst, and are naked, and they are baffled, 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 and they have no no setting and during the place, and they live working with our our own our own hands, being a revel. We we bless being a persecute, we ne suffer it. Bring a uh, be, sorry, being a being a dif, being a defame, we ne ne entreat. We are ne made as a the feedy of the world, and they are there of 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 of, of calling of uh, all the things unto ne this and uh, the uh, fourteen. I write uh, not uh, this uh, thing uh, to ne uh, shame uh, you, but uh, as uh, my beloved sons, I want uh, you fifteen. For uh, for though ye have a uh, ten talent as uh, uh, ten talent uh, instru instructors in uh, Christ, uh, yet have uh, ye ne uh, not many fathers. For, for in Christ Jesus, I have been uh, begotten you through the gospel. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for God. We bless his holy name. You know, Apostle Paul was telling it, was telling it that he is the, the uh, that means he's the father of them because he's the one that found the, found the, the church in the, uh, what is it called? He's the one that found the church in the, um, in the in the Christians is the one that the, the leader is the one that that opened the start the church in the Christians and he was telling them praise master Jesus as Apostle Paul was telling them was telling that he is your spiritual I am your spiritual father 
I am your spiritual father. He was the one that, that founded the church. Yeah. He's telling that he's the spiritual father. He was right. Because he's the one that, that started the church. Yeah. He's the one that the first the lady led the, 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 the church to be opened in the in the in the in the, Cor in the Cor Christian. Not that Apostle Paul was proud, because Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul was telling them, because what they were doing that they, they start comparing their preacher, and this one is one better than this, this one is you no, know, start comparing one and this one, and this is my favorite, this is one. No, no, Apostle Paul let them know. I'm the one that, that God, God gave me the grace to found this church, to, to, to establish this church here in the Corinthians, the first person. I am the first person that Apostle Paul was telling them so that they, 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 they are proud, that they are, but he told them because he loved them. He just wanted them to know. He just wanted, it's like, it's like a good father. A good father corrects his children. When, the, when children are doing something wrong, the father correct their children, they correct their, the fathers correct their children. Because I love my child so much, the child is doing something wrong that is not good. Then I, I, I kept, and then I will keep my mouth shut. I'm not correcting that child. You are not doing that child go, good. I'm not doing that child good. It's because of the, because of the love that Apostle Paul loved them, it's because that he's correcting them, telling them, please, you people should know, I am your spiritual father. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Not because he was proud that uh, he's the one that is no, He was telling them because of the love he has for them to correct them. Praise Master Jesus. To correct them. So you see what Apostle said in, in the verse 16. Is the verse 16? You can see what it says here. In verse 16, uh, first, first Corinthians, uh, Corinthians 4 16. It's in verse 16 it said, Wherefore? We have, we have, he said, wherefore, I beseech you, be ye followers of me. Apostle Paul wants them to be a follower of him because Apostle Paul is a follower of true, 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 is a, a true believer. He follow Jesus. He follow God. Don't follow all that preacher that you know, they are not, they are, they are not following God. Don't false preachers, don't follow them, don't imitate them. Follow me as I follow Christ. So, Apostle Paul, if you and I, say, as a believer, we can say that one to somebody. When you, you and I, you know, you are following Christ. You follow Apostle Paul as I follow Apostle Paul, follow Christ. And in your behavior now, you can tell somebody, follow me as I follow Christ. Mitate me as I'm mitating Christ. You see how I mitate my lovely Jesus. I follow not, not your own uh, deed, but uh, the, to follow the word of God, reading the word of God, follow the footsteps of, of, of Almighty of Apostle Paul that he said. He said to he said, as he said to them, as he said to them, as he told them, to mitate him, mitate him in good things. Mitate him in good things for him loving Jesus, for him following Jesus. Now, an example, mitate him to follow, follow his uh, example. We follow examples of Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul followed the examples of Jesus, our lovely Jesus. When you and I are living a, a, a righteous life, a holy life, living up to the standard of God, we can tell somebody to follow me as I follow Christ, as I follow God. It's because I, I said, follow me. He was not telling them to follow him just because of uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm the leader. No, he's, he's directed them to God. He making the statement uh, because uh, for them to walk closer to God, because Apostle Paul walked closer every day, he was closer to God. That is what he wants you and I to do. It's because of that he said we should follow him because he walked closer, closely every day, walk closer to God. He wants you and I to do so. He, as he was telling the, the, the church of the Corinthians, it's what he's telling you and I for, for us to walk closer to our Father Almighty God. To spend time in scriptures. To, for, for you and I follow Apostle Paul footsteps. For you and I follow Jesus Christ footsteps. We let us draw closer to Jesus. Let us draw closer to God. So, so, uh, study the uh, scriptures and pray. That is what Apostle Paul was. Apostle Paul, even Apostle Paul was passing through. Eh? Those who are suffering, those beating, they were beating him. From one place to another, the prison from prison to from prison to prison, stress. 
he is still praying, reading the word of God. Many of uh, the, the most of uh, of of his uh, of his um, most of his writing, most of the of the of the the, the, the apostle Paul's uh, writing here, the, the the messages that he wrote by the help of the Holy Spirit. Most of them are in the prison. He was in the prison by them. He was in a prison when he wrote most of the the messages that that you and I saving you and I today. We are so we are so thankful that Apostle Paul submit himself fully, total surrender to God. His his message is blessing you and I today. Blessing we continue blessing the children of our lovely Jesus comes back and take and take and take all of us home. He said you and I should copy him. You and I should meditate him. You and I should be an example of him. By you drawing closely to all, closer to Jesus and they're studying the, the scriptures and praying. Praise Master Jesus. Because when you are not praying, we're reading the word of the Holy Spirit, we continue open our heart of understanding to understand this word clearer, clearer that the word of the Lord that we don't understand before, continually we're doing it. And Holy Spirit is start clearing our understanding. We start understanding more, more, more. That is what Apostle Paul was, was giving them advice. The advice he was giving them is what is is giving to us. So follow him as he follow Christ. Hallelujah. He set an example. I thank God for God. He set an example that you and I can follow. Hallelujah. We follow that kind of example of Apostle Paul, and we and we it will profit you and I. Pastor Paul like could not turn uh, an example to another Christian. Praise Master Jesus. He may, Father, we thank God for Apostle Paul. His life is, a, is, a, is an example that you and I can follow, that you and I can follow and, and follow we will see. Travel in that way, in that area. Travel the same, in the same road. Our almighty God, we continue to open our heart. In Jesus' name. Apostle Paul, as he went, he said, said you and I should meditate him. May the Lord give us the grace to meditate him. Meditate him in drawing closer to almighty God. Believing almighty God. Trusting almighty God. And our conduct. I thank God for, you know, that, that lady that just, you see the conduct of that girl. Humble. Good conduct. May the Lord give all of us the grace in Jesus' name to follow the way of Christ. And let us make our lovely Jesus our role model. Our role model. Let us make our Lord Jesus our role model. It will profit you and all. By the grace of God, it will profit you and I. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to the name of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Please, I would like us to turn to the book of uh, the book of Rev the book of uh, Praise Master Jesus Revelation. The book of Revelation three. The book of Re Revelation three. Seventeen. Hallelujah. Revelation 3, 17. I read in Jesus' name. Because a darkness says, I am a rich and an increaser with the goods and have the need of nothing. And then knoweth and not that thou art a wretched and a miserable and a poor and a blind and a naked. Praise Master Jesus. We thank God for God. May the Lord give us the grace to be proud of our lovely Jesus. Make our lovely Jesus our role model. Not somebody's model. If you are the one that taking all those celebrities, you say, this is my model, this celebrity, I follow this celebrity. No, make Jesus your role model. 
made them that they, those celebrities you don't shouldn't be as a christian we Christ, we children of god we should not be making a celebrity our role model you see some people you enter their 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 house there's the, the picture of us name them is in their house you saw the that is their model that is who their role model that is who they are from no you think you have got all no you and i should make our lovely Jesus, our role model. Hallelujah. I shall be well with you and I in the name of Jesus Christ. I shall be well with you and I. We bless the name of the Lord. I would like us to turn to the book of uh, the book of uh, Philip, uh, the book of Philippians. Praise Master Jesus. The book of uh, Philip, Philippians. See what Almighty God says here. That's his thing. The book of Philippians. Three seventeen. I read in Jesus' name. Brethren, be followers to be followers together of me, and then market them which a walk a soul as ye in a have have us for an example. Jesus is our example. Jesus is our example. It's him we will follow. It's him we will follow. Not other people we start tracing. Not other people we start making them our role model. Jesus is our role model. Follow, we follow Apostle Paul as he follow Christ. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let us turn back to, to the Corinthians, the first Corinthians for we and we, we, we are. We are reading. So I will start right now from, hallelujah. So 17 now, we read from 17 to 21. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For in this course, have I in center unto you, Timotheus, who is my beloved son and a Faithful in the Lord, who ne shall ne bring you ne into the remembrance of my ways, which have been in Christ as I teach every ne where in every ne church, and now on the summer and a puff of as a Though I I want not to come to you, but I will come to you shortly, if the Lord win and win no, not the speech of them, which are the puffer up about their power, for the kingdom of God is not in the world, but in power, hallelujah, what we ye? We shall I come unto you with a rod or in the love and in the spirit of a meekness. Praise Master Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Our God is good. We thank God. We thank God for the word of God. Some people, praise Master Jesus. Some people talk, you know, when some people, some Christians, we some, we, we some Christians, we talk, we talk, talk a lot. <laughs> May the Lord give us the grace. Some people talk uh, talk about a uh, faith. They talk about it, but that faith, that, that faith they are talking about, they don't even have that faith. They don't walk in faith. But they talk about it, but they're not doing it. They're not doing it at all, just to talk about it. But to just to talk about it will not help you and all. So our Father Abraham had uh, Father Abraham had faith and he walked with that faith. When Father God said, go and sac sacrifice your son, only, 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 your, 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 the, only, only son that you have been waiting for, the son of promise, go and sac sacrifice Isaac for me. He didn't ask for the Ishmael. He asked for the, 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 the one that you know. He said, As the Isaac is the one that you know. So your seed we you know. He said, is that one I want? So uh, 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 Father Abraham they didn't say, ah, I have faith, oh, but this one, I don't do this one. No, 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 I cannot, I cannot. They tried to be waiting for how for many years. Now you are telling me, no, 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 no. Let's keep that faith on side, but I have faith. I don't understand. Many of us, we are like that. 
Father, Father Abraham didn't say so. Father Abraham said, you are the one that gave it to me. You said that you gave it. Okay, tell me how we go. Now you and now we are enjoying the blessings of Abraham. Praise man. Not just so. He, he didn't just uh, uh, procrastinate about the, the, the faith. I have faith. I have faith. No, no works. Faith that uh, Apostle James said that faith without work is dead. Is dead. Praise Master Jesus. As we have faith, let us walk with that faith. No, many people, they have faith. They say have faith. They know the word of the Lord. They can quote the word of the Lord. They can say the word of the Lord. They can preach it. They can, but they are not living on it. But they know the scriptures. They know what they are doing, but they don't live with it. They are not living what they are preaching. They are not living what they are, and they say they have the faith. They said they have on it. No. And the Lord give us the grace. As we say, we know, love Jesus. We have faith. Let us use that faith. Let us walk. Use that faith to walk. As our father Abraham did. Praise Master Jesus. Not just to say it. The, the faith in us must reflect that people will see that faith. Yes, that this person is walking. But see that, see that something happened to you. Your neighbors, your, your co-worker and your co-worker will say, eh, you see holding on to this, your Jesus? You see upon what have happened to you? You see holding on to this Jesus? And at that your faith, we build their own faith, we boast their own faith up in Jesus' name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We build their own faith up in the a, in a, in a name of Jesus Christ because God is power. His word is power. Hallelujah. His word is power. When we reflect our, our when we reflect, when the, our, the, our uh, we reflect in the, in the power of God, the faith of God, we, we live in the, in, the, in the faith of God. People will say it. As Paul was uh, saying that he said uh, Paul was saying uh, saying uh, that uh, the 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 kingdom of the kingdom of God is not just to say something, not doing it. The kingdom of God should have been uh, as you and I speaking the word of God. This is the word of God. We living by it, and people will see how we are living by it. Not just to say it, but people will see it. We live by it. Apostle Paul lived by the word of God that he was preaching. All those churches that he established, all those churches that he found that he established, all, they, all of them can testify that this man, what he's telling us is what is exactly what is living. He was not telling them one thing and they're doing another thing, no. We Christians, we must reflect our Father, Almighty God, the word of God, the power of God. Because when you and I walking in faith, walking by faith, you speak what God will always stand for you. Let, let us trust our Lord. As we say we love our Lord Jesus, we trust our Lord Jesus, right? not just, just uh, discussing. Just discussing about it, not doing it, not putting it in practice. Let us put it in practice. It will do you good, it will do me good when we put it in practice. Please, the right word, not just the right word without no action, without not doing what you're saying. It makes no sense. It will not, pro it will not profit you, profit me nothing, the word. Let us be content with right answer. When somebody asks you a question, if you don't know that, the, the, the word the person is asking you, just say you don't know. There is no harm. There's no... No harm for you to say you don't know that thing, that, that word. If you know, answer that person. If you don't know, tell that person, I'm sorry. I don't, this one that you're asking me now, I don't know about, I don't know this one. I haven't read this, I haven't got this grace. No, God is giving us grace. Don't lie. Don't say what you don't know. Don't let the person know, please, uh, this one that, uh, please, I don't know. I don't, I cannot tell you right now. Let our yes be yes. Let our no be no as a child of God. That the unbeliever out there will see you and I. They will walk in the light. They will come to the light. You and I, we are walking. 
the light of God. God's power walking in you, the almighty God, the, his power walketh in me and walketh in you. Praise Master Jesus. He walketh in me, he walketh in you. We bless the name of the Lord. Almighty God is good. Let is that is our, you know, I thank God for, for God. We believe I must have shown the Christ to the world by an example. We believe us, we must show ourselves. Example to the world. That the people will follow you and I, the people will like to come to you and I, the, the unbelievers should have been able to see Jesus Christ in you. The unbelievers should be able to see Jesus Christ in you, to see Jesus Christ in me. That when I'm, when I'm uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, when I'm preaching to them, evangelizing to them, it's very easy for them to, to believe, to follow your God because they have seen Jesus in you. The, your, your attitude, your conduct, how you speak, when, they are, when somebody speaks, how you answer. All these things you and we, we we might think people the unbelievers you know, the unbelievers they are not seeing us they see us. they see us, beloved let them see the, the let them see Jesus Christ in you and I so that they will so that they will draw that you that your that that your truth you see you are showing them the reality you are showing that you are they are seeing genuineness in you that the genuineness they are seeing in you we draw them to Christ. That genuineness in you, we draw them to know Christ, to know your God. But if you are like them, even worse than them, lying, but you're just saying the word, but you are lying, they will not like it. They will not even come to you to talk less of to draw closer to, to want to know your God. Instead of, they, they will not even want to come to draw closer to seek your God, to seek Christ, to seek for salvation. So what example are we giving them? If the unbeliever, they cannot draw close to rock because of our, of our being, uh, we, we are believers. What kind of a Christian are we then? Let us be an example to the, to the whole wide world so that they can come and test and see that Jesus Christ is good. Our God is good. May the Lord bless you. I thank God for this Bible study. I thank God. May the Lord give us the grace as the word, as we, 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 we heard about the word, we read about the word of the Lord. May the Lord give us the, 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 the grace in Jesus' name. Hmm? To be a steward, or to be a steward, a steward of, the, of God Almighty. No, when God said, do this, do it. Don't compare your, your gift to somebody says gift. Don't, uh, don't jealous about somebody's uh, gift. So God called you to do this and don't complain saying I cannot do it. He that called you, he will give you the grace to do it. Hmm? May the Lord bless each and every one of us for us to follow him, not to be proudful and better than this. I could, I could do better than this. Why God called this person instead of me? He's supposed to call me, that, then, then is this person called? You see the quality of this person? No, you are not the Christian. You don't know the heart of that person. We should not judge. Let us confront sin. When Sunday see sin, confront tell that person in love. No judging that person. Because when you are judging that person, to no help. Apostle Paul was warning the, 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 the church of Corinth and same is warning you and I. Please, as we are following Jesus, let us follow him genuinely. As Apostle Paul followed Jesus genuinely, praying, uh, reading the scriptures, so following God like that. So that in, in, in future, your life, your life, even though you are not alive anymore, your life is continue winning soul to Jesus. Because what you have done, the seed that you have sown, is still winning soul to Jesus. You are in the heaven, but your seed, that you, the good seed that you have sown, winning soul to Jesus. May the Lord bless each and every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, I hand over to you, man. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you is a really good topic to talk about. 
especially when it comes to Matthew 5, um, the book of Matthew 5, verse 14. You know, God always give um, give according to each man's ability. We should not be jealous for real. We should not be jealous. Uh, why this person just started? She already doing this. She already doing that. God said, "We have mercy to whom we have mercy, compassion to whom we have compassion." We cannot uh, question God. God knows what we can do. God knows your capacity. God knows what your ability. God knows your limits. God will give you according to what you can bear. That's why the Bible is telling us, even when it comes to challenge, it will give you the challenge that you can manage. It will not allow the challenge that will take you for the will of God. Hallelujah. He said we should not be jealous. We have 24 hours. Let's just say 12 hours we sleep, 12 hours in the day. So in this 12 hours of the day, if they, we have so many activities, some people they cannot even manage to do too, because they will see how short the day is for them. Some people in less than 10 hours, they can do many things and be wondering, how can this person manage to do this? You're going to work, you are doing this, and you still have time to do this, and you still have time. Some people, only one activity, it will make him very exhausted that they cannot even read the Bible. Ah, I was tired all day. I did not read my Bible. Why? What did you do? Oh, I cannot come to church today because I'm working. Because some people they are working, they are still doing the work of God, they still have time to do evangelism, they still have many things. So we should not be jealous of when God have to increase that person. Because it's increasing that person because you know that that person is still have time to do more. He still have time to do more. Some people, when they give them, they'll be tired now. The jealousy, that is what is making many ministers of God to compromise. Many pastors to compromise. Oh, the same message I'm preaching. How come this one just starts after me? It's already have four branches. Me, since I start, I'm preaching the same Bible. Nothing is happening. Only five that I managed to get last year. They even left. Only three that remain. Eh? We start now question because of that. You want to be digging now to go to that pastor to ask, how are you doing? How do you do for you to have all this? How will you manage for you to have all this member? Then you see them now. In the, the, those that are, are in the darkness, they start introducing them now in the darkness to say that, oh, you want to know my power, you want to come like me, I will introduce you to so, 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 I will do this, so, so, so. The next minute you see, you started well, you start compromising, you start changing the message. You start changing the message because of what? Because of that spirit of covetousness, jealousy. You just want to competition spirit. This is not meant to be for us. That is not how it's supposed to be. That's not how it's supposed to be. We all call to do the work of God, but they only give you what you can manage. They will not give you stronger. Some people, God give them the gift just to win souls. One day, I was talking to my friend. We went to do, um, we went to do evangelism. We was doing evangelism. So each time you do evangelism, some people be refusing my tracks. <laughs> they be refusing my tracks. But she will finish all our tracks. I was like, ah, ah, how come you win? <laughs> you even got more tracks than me. How come you get to finish quick? When you have to talk to people, she she's so fast of convincing people. I say, how do you manage this? She have the, then I realized that she has the gift of winning souls. God gave people different gifts. Some, he gave the gift of winning soul. They don't need to go into deep conversation for them to just, the person just accept Jesus. Some people, they have to finish the half of Bible by quoting the, all the Bible verse they ever know to convince one soul. But another person for one soul can convince five people. That is the different gift. Some people have the gift of preaching the word of God. When they preach the word of God, the, the person that is hearing the word of God will just be convinced. They will be happy and accept that word of God. Some people have the gift. Some people have the, the different gift. You understand? Some people have the gift of vision. Some people, they see things that the pastor could not see. 
That's why the Bible says we should work together. You have the gift of vision. You have the gift of revelation. You have the gift of interpretation. Another person has the gift of speaking in tongue. Come, let us work together. That gift is the one that you're going to make the body of Christ to grow. But if you start having the spirit of vision, uh, the spirit of competition, the spirit of um, jealousy, ah, uh, that pastor, it happened here in UK, in particular place. This pastor, he had the gift of preaching. He had the gift of preaching. He was the ministry, his own church to grow just because of preaching. He did not have any uh, uh, revelation gift or, or vision gift or uh, deliverance or healing, you know. Although sometimes, you know, you might, you might claim not to have gift of revelation, but you, all the ministers of God, they receive revelation from God. They hear from God. So he, did not, he was not manifesting miracle, prophecy, all these things. And... The church was then, God was using that church mightily. And God connected him with a one evangelist. This brother came from Africa and he joined the church. God is God that connected them. God knew that this pastor, although he had that gift, that he needed another gift that you back up to make the work of God to grow. He sent that, past, that mean, uh, evangelist in that church. That evangelist she did not have the gift of preaching, but he had the gift of miracle, performing miracle. If he pray, you see people be manifesting, you know, the people receiving their healing, deliverance. He had the gift of deliverance and healing. And he, pro he was prophesizing. Then he will prof when you, they are praying, when the prayer is intense, you see him prophesizing and people, you know, receiving their prophecy and manifesting in their life. Look at now the enemy is not happy. The spirit starts now and making the people. One day, a woman came to, to him. He said, ah, brother, the brother was so submissive to a pastor. And they were working together. Everything was fine until the enemy came to pay them visit. So the enemy came through the members. People, people. King Saul was rejected because of people. The member came to him and said, ah, brother, I think that why, why you always, uh, everything you do, you always ask permission to the pastor. Eh? You, God is even using you more than the pastor. This church, it was not full like this. Since you came, the church, everybody, the church is full. People are coming and receiving their healing before God was not manifesting in this church like that. You know, why don't you open your church instead of uh, being under the pastor, pastor that God doesn't even use in mind to you. You will save through the message of that pastor. Just because you did not get your miracle the way that this pastor, God sent this man to come and complete something that people want to separate. So the enemy entered the heart of this man. The arrow finally take place. The arrow was comfortable in the heart of this brother. That's how this brother left the church. The pastor was crying when this brother left. And when this brother left, he left like Satan. When Satan was thrown out from heaven, he did not go alone. He always carry. He carry 1% or one quarter, whatever. So this brother carry her almost 80% uh, of the church with him. And this pastor, he was crying. Even the one that he labored to win for God, this brother carry it in the name of deliverance, prophecy, all those things. So this man was crying to God. He was crying to God to send him a helper. And God sent him this brother and the enemy to be, be, be succeed to take this help away from him and even to bring sorrow on him and he was crying when he was crying god was so upset god was very the wrath of god was upon this evangelist and what happened immediately the gift that he was manifesting to that church he was quenched when he went to open the church with all those members that he carried he went there. He could not prophesy. The prophecy, he was prophesizing to flesh because the spirit of God was not in him anymore. Because when the spirit of God left, there's no more power. You cannot do things without the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit left because he was not happy what he did. 
So it was not prophesizing flesh that it was not coming to pass. It was not happening. All the deliverance was not happening again. Nothing. And the church started to, to dry. And people start like, oh, we follow you, but how come the things are not happening? It's not happening. Because of shame. He, did want, he didn't want to compromise his, uh, uh, his followers. He didn't want to make them to feel bad. Where did he go? He went back to Africa and he collected power from darkness to come and continue to perform miracles so that these people continue to follow. Is it what God wanted for him? Is it what God wanted for him? You see how people compromise. And by the time God deal with, the, with him, he dealt with him in a very bad way until this secret came out. That's why we get to know it, all of us. We should not play with God. Be content with what God has given to you. If it is one, be happy. At least you have that one. If it's two, be happy. Don't be jealous in another person. May the Lord bless you more for this wonderful message. I thank God for your life and for all of us' life. Let us pray for the woman of God that God used to be a blessing for us, that God used to warn us again. We should not judge, but we should warn people. We should rebook sin. You should not be partaker of it, but you should rebook it in love, not with strife. Hallelujah. Father, Lord, we commit your daughter into your hand, O Lord Jesus Christ, O Nazareth. Father, thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, for using her to be a blessing for us today. Father, we thank you, O Lord, Father, continue to increase her, O Lord, Father, with more wisdom, knowledge to your word in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, refresh her again, O Lord, Father, with a fresh anointing upon her life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, continue to use her, O Lord, Father, to be a blessing in this generation, Father, to win more soul for your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord Jesus, Father, let your divine protection be upon her. According to Psalm 34, verse 7, you said the angel of God are come around those that fear you and you deliver them. Father, deliver your daughter against every powers of darkness that is not happy for this message. Deliver her, deliver her family in the name of Jesus. Father, we cover her with the blood of Jesus. Make her invisible in the eyes of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, O Lord Jesus, Father, for your divine protection upon her. We cover her with the blood of Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit not depart from her to continue to cheat her, to continue to bring things that you, you want her to learn into a remembrance in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory, for today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let us share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. For surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. A few seconds, silence, please. <laughs> Amen. God bless you all. We are coming back on our night vigil on Friday, 11 p.m. London time. May the Lord bless you all. Shalom.